You know, I would imagine that Batman's job is really hard. Not only because Arkham has the worst jail system ever because there's a jailbreak every other day, but also because he can't keep an eye on all the criminals. And so I bet he wishes that he had Bitdefender's scanning features because it makes my life a lot easier since it keeps an eye out for all of those deviant viruses and malware. So we're going to talk about the various scanning features that Bitdefender has and Batman doesn't. But if you too want to scan for virtual crime, then consider checking out our link in the description below to get exclusive discounts on various Bitdefender subscriptions that not only helps in giving you a peace of mind, but also lightens the load on you financially. So do make sure to hop over to that link to pick that sucker up. Alright, so let's take a look at some of the scans we have. Now, what I really like with Bitdefender is that all of their scans are conveniently placed on their dashboard so you don't have to go through different settings to find them. So the first scan we have is the quick scan, which goes through the most commonly infected parts of your computer, such as files, downloads, and perhaps browsers that might have trackers on them. So it makes sure that nothing is infecting you on the surface level. And then we have the system scan, which is more in depth. It goes through every nook and cranny and might take a little longer to go through because of that. And so if you want a more thorough, uh, let's say, rinsing of your computer, I guess, then you can go with the system scan. It gets everything and makes sure that nothing is lingering about after the quick scan has gone through. So yeah, quick scan, not as thorough as the system scan. And then third is the vulnerability scan, which, I mean, it's very unique to me. And I really like this. Uh, uh, version of a scan because what it does is go through all of your well vulnerabilities on your computer which covers like weak passwords uh, certain system settings that have been changed and updates that you need to make to your computer and so it's very convenient it, it's very fast as well and so it makes sure that there's no blind sides to your computer and to your protection so this is something that I frequently do and I should probably do it more frequently because I have a lot of things that I need to address but yeah that's generally what the vulnerability scan does and then the last, it's not really a scan, but something that I think I should just include in this is the data protection. So this shreds files. So you put any file in here and it gets rid of them entirely. There's not even an atom left. And so I'm not going to show you how that works because I'm not quite sure which files need to be shredded, but I don't, I don't really have any, you know, sensitive government documents that I need to worry about. So if you want to get rid of any files that you really don't need, then this is the place to go. And uh, yeah, so it's got you covered on all aspects. So yeah, that's pretty much all we have in terms of the scanning options for Bitdefender. As for now, that wraps it up for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you did enjoy it, then consider hitting that like button to help push the video through the algorithm so people who also want to familiarize themselves with Bitdefender can find it. And subscribe while you're down there as well because it would make me happy. And don't forget to check out that link down in the description below to get a sizable discount on various Bitdefender products because you're definitely missing out if you aren't defending your bits with Bitdefender like that one anyways thanks for watching the video at any rate and until next time take care and i will see you then